Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Ever wondered how planets like Earth are born? Meet HH30, a young and dynamic star system located 450 light years away in the Taurus molecular cloud. This cosmic nursery is a perfect laboratory for studying the early stages of planet formation, offering an edge-on view of a swirling disk of gas and dust surrounding its young star. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers now have an unprecedented look at this stellar nursery, uncovering key clues about how tiny dust grains gradually come together to form rocky planets, gas giants, and even the building blocks of life. Webb's powerful infrared vision pierces through the dense clouds of dust, revealing hidden structures, temperature variations, and complex chemical interactions that drive the birth of new worlds. By studying HH30, scientists are getting a front row seat to the chaotic yet fascinating processes that once shaped our own solar system billions of years ago. Could this system be forming planets like Earth? And what does it teach us about the chances of life beyond our planet? Join us as we dive into the incredible discoveries from Webb's latest observations and explore how HH30 is helping us unlock the secrets of planetary formation. What makes HH30 so special? Unlike most systems, we see it edge on, meaning we get a front row seat to the swirling dust and gas disk that will one day become planets. Webb's powerful infrared vision has captured a striking sight, a dark band of dust blocking the young star's light with glowing regions above and below. This tells us that the disk is flattening, a critical step in building planets. But that's not all. HH30 also features dramatic jets blasting outward from its poles, like fireworks in space. These jets form as material spirals into the young star, with some gas getting ejected at high speeds. Studying them helps scientists piece together the turbulent birth of solar systems. And here's where things get really exciting. Webb has detected temperature variations within the dust disk. The cooler inner regions suggest that tiny dust grains have a better chance of sticking together and growing into larger objects, possibly even future planets. So what does all this mean? By studying HH30, scientists are unlocking the secrets of planetary formation and in turn deepening our understanding of how our own solar system and maybe even other Earth-like worlds came to be. Thanks to Webb's powerful instruments, astronomers are getting a detailed look at HH30's protoplanetary disk. Near-infrared imaging reveals the structure of the swirling dust, while mid-infrared spectroscopy detects the heat emitted by tiny particles. By combining these observations, scientists can create a temperature and chemical map of the disk, helping us understand how planets begin to take shape. Webb's latest findings confirm that dust particles in HH30 are clustering into a dense midplane, a crucial early step in planet formation. As these grains collide and stick together, they grow into larger clumps, pebbles, and eventually planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. But here's where it gets really interesting. Cooling in the disk plays a major role. Larger dust grains allow heat to escape more easily, creating an environment where particles can bond. Meanwhile, radial drift, the slow movement of dust toward the star, helps determine where planets will eventually form. And there's more. Webb has detected simple organic molecules within HH30's disk, suggesting that the ingredients for life could be widespread in young planetary systems. This supports the growing evidence that organic compounds are common in star-forming regions, possibly seeding future planets with the building blocks of life. Another key discovery is how dust and gas interact. Gas turbulence within the disk affects dust movement, sometimes helping and sometimes hindering planet formation. HH30, Webb has pinpointed areas where dust is clustering, making it easier for particles to stick together and form larger solid bodies before they get pulled into the star's gravity and disappear. The journey from tiny dust grains to full-fledged planets isn't just about physics, it's also about chemistry. Different temperatures and pressures in a protoplanetary disk determine which materials can form, shaping the types of planets that may emerge. In HH30, scientists have detected silicate-rich grains, the key ingredients for building rocky worlds like Earth. This suggests HH30 might be in the early stages of forming planets similar to those in our own solar system. 
but AH-30 isn't the only system offering clues about planet formation. Hal Tauri, another young star, features well-defined rings in its disk, likely carved out by growing planets as they clear paths through the dust. Meanwhile, PDS-70 provides direct images of forming planets actively pulling in material as they grow. Comparing these systems helps refine our understanding of how planetary systems evolve in different environments. These discoveries don't just tell us how planets form, they also have huge implications for the search for life. Webb's detection of organic molecules in HH30 suggests that the building blocks of life might be common in young planetary systems. And with future telescopes like the extremely large telescope on the horizon, even more detailed studies of these planetary nurseries are coming. Observations of HL Tauri from the Atacama Large Millimeter Array have revealed stunning concentric rings in its protoplanetary disk, evidence that planets may already be forming within the dust. Compared to HH30, HL Tauri appears to be at a more advanced stage, giving scientists a side-by-side -side look at different phases of planet formation. By studying these systems, astronomers are piecing together the incredible story of how planets and possibly even habitable worlds come to be. While HH30 reveals the early stages of planet formation, PDS-70 offers a direct look at exoplanets taking shape. Using cutting-edge imaging, astronomers have captured stunning views of two massive planets orbiting within the system's dusty disk. These young worlds are still gaining mass, giving us a rare opportunity to witness the later stages of planetary development, a perfect contrast to the earlier phases observed in HH30. But that's not all, HH30 has also provided an exciting discovery, organic molecules within its disk. This hints that the building blocks of life might be present in many young planetary systems, supporting similar findings from other star-forming regions. The presence of prebiotic chemistry in these environments helps astronomers assess how common life-friendly conditions might be throughout the universe. These breakthroughs are shaping the future of exoplanet research. By studying how planets emerge and evolve, scientists can refine their search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system. And with next-generation telescopes like the extremely large telescope in the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope on the horizon, we're about to unlock even more secrets of planetary systems, bringing us closer to answering one of the biggest questions of all, are we alone in the universe? And that's it. Thank you for joining me on this cosmic journey through HH30. Today, we explored how Webb's observations reveal the process of planet formation, from swirling dust to potential new worlds. These insights not only help us understand how our own solar system took shape, but also guide us in the search for habitable planets elsewhere in the cosmos. Stay tuned for more discoveries from the ever-expanding universe.